to the American Dream. I'm your host, Emily McClintock, and today we're in beautiful Saugatuck, Michigan, just two hours from downtown Chicago, which makes this a perfect weekend getaway. We're going to go look at a beautiful renovated barn, and then we'll go see a charming French boutique market. Let's go. Hi, Christine, how are you? Great. Welcome to our barn. Well, thanks for having me. How are you? Hi, Gabe, how are you? Fantastic. We're here with Gabe and Christine Bridger in their beautiful renovated barn. And I'd love to know a little bit more about why here and what you've done and how this was inspired. <laughs> I mean, it's 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 a it's a love for this area and it's a love for for modeling. And this was the biggest task, the biggest project we could have ever even imagined, really, because this was just a barn. Yeah, just a rustic old barn that you took from scratch and made this place. That's Absolutely. right. So, can you tell us a little bit more about the structure of this barn and how you went about the renovation? What was important to you? Authenticity. First and foremost, uh, you know, we really wanted to create something that, yeah, it was renovated and it has modern, you know, uh, heating and cooling, it has insulation, uh, modern windows, but we wanted to create something that kept the sort of essence of what a barn is and, and also opened it up and kept it open, which was really kind of a key thing for us. Tell us a little bit more about other projects you've done in this area. Sure, so besides the barn that we just took a small tour through, we worked on a, um, a handful of other cottages and farmhouses. And another thing that maybe you'll see when you guys take a tour through the rest of the town, you'll drive by Isabel's Market and Eatery, which was a very scary space um, that we transformed into a gourmet market and eatery. If you go down a little bit further into the town of Sagatuck, you'll see that we renovated Coast, which is a really special dining experience. It actually was recognized by the James Beard Foundation. And we have a community that's actually a Scandinavian, Scandinavian inspired way of living that is not developed yet, but it's in the works. So we were lucky to be a part of the design and the concepting. Thank you so much for having me to your beautiful barn. I really enjoyed it. Our pleasure. It's great to see you again. You too. I hope you come back and see us again soon. Yes, I'd love to. Hi, Terry. How are you? Nice to see you. You too. Thanks for coming. Yes, I love coming here. Every time I walk in, I am so happy. <laughs> Good. So well, that's our goal. Yeah. 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 So we are here with Terry Walker of Lulu Kadu, and we would love to know what inspired you to create this amazing place and tell us a little bit about it. Okay. Hi. We started out with. Uh, a lot of old vintage items and everyone said, are you an antique mall? And we're like, no. And then we would bring in some of the foodie stuff and they're like, well, are you a restaurant? And we're like, no, we're not really, we're not that either. So we just kept adding uh, as, as the things that we loved, that's what we would bring in. We didn't uh, try to make the taste fit someone that we were thinking of. Uh -huh. We only could do what we found uh, meaningful to us. This is our kitchen, where Chef is uh, teaching a class today on souffle making, and he's going to do a cheese souffles. Okay. So that's what he's been setting up for and starting to do now. Well, Terry, thank you so much for having us, and I am so looking forward to coming back and seeing what's happening here in the future and seeing what is going on next year. Thank you. It's been fun spending time here in Saugatuck. I'm your host, Emily McClintock, and this is The American Dream. Mm -hmm.